Parents of our signees, I invite you to come join your son or daughter that's signing, please, right behind them. Parents of the signees, I invite you to come stand behind your son or daughter. Coaches, same thing, please join us. Should be alphabetical, starting closest to the podium. Alphabetical, closest to the podium. All right, we have everybody. I got an empty spot. You should be right after him. Uh, Coach Sims, will you grab this chair and take it out of there, please? Will you give me that? What's that? CC's on her way. Oh, all so right. Be here. That's good news. <laughs> she thought it was a I appreciate that. I will not shoot the messenger. Will you hold that, please? Sorry. No, no, I keep getting feedback. OK, some last minute instructions for all of you. Make sure you can hear me, please. We're going to go one by one, alphabetically down. When it comes to your turn, I don't have your attention. When it comes to your turn, I'm going to read your bio. I'm going to say what school you are uh, going to attend. And then you're going to sign your document. All right? This is being live video streamed. They're not going to zoom in on your paper. Uh, you do not need to sign your official document at this time. You can do that at your most convenient and most private time. This is more ceremonial, OK, just so you know. Uh, after we finish all of the signing, all of the, the ceremony, there will be photo opportunities. Everybody's going to be released to class at that time. You're welcome to stick around and, and take some photo uh, uh, shots with your family, with your team, with your friends, with your coaches, etc. Okay, so that's how it's going to happen. We're going to go pretty quick because we've got a big crowd, uh, but we will hit everybody. All right? Mike, we ready? All right, here we go. Good afternoon, Gulliver. Today is the final signing day event for the 2017-2018 school year. 20 Gulliver Raiders will have the opportunity to continue their athletic careers at the university level. Let's meet them. First, we have Christopher C.J. Calero, son of Julio and Sarah. He is a two-sport athlete who excels in baseball and football while carrying a 4.2 GPA. On the diamond, CJ brings a quiet dedication and fierce work ethic. His versatile defense and powerful bat were emerging when a season-ending injury struck. He is close to full recovery and has not missed an opportunity to be a leader for his teammates. For the Raiders on the football field, CJ was the soul of the defense, leading the team in tackles the last two seasons. CJ earned first team all conference, first team all county, and first team all state honors as a linebacker. He also was invited to play in three all-star games, including the North-South Dade All-Star Game and the private versus public game. CJ Calero has chosen to continue his football career at Hobart College.
Next we have Sione Cece Castillo. She is the daughter of Carlos and Rhonda. Cece arrived at Gulliver for her sophomore year and has made a huge impact on the Gulliver softball program. Cece helped Gulliver reach the regional finals in both her sophomore and junior seasons while batting 342 with five home runs and 35 runs batted in over two seasons. She also contributed greatly on the defensive side of the ball. With CC behind the plate, very few teams were able to have an effective running game. This year, Gulliver is fielding one of the youngest teams in its history, and her leadership has gone a long way to making the young players successful. CC is signing a national letter of intent to play softball at Augusta State University. Next we have Carlos Dulce, son of Carlos and Claudia. Carlos is part of a class of athletes who did not participate on a Gulliver team, yet achieved a high level of success in athletics, which coupled with their outstanding academic performances earned them admissions into some of the finest universities in the nation. Carlos has gained notoriety as a soccer player. He has been ranked 13th in the state of Florida, named as one of the six players to watch in the Academy quarterfinals in 2016, celebrate, uh, selected to be part of the best 11 at the Academy playoffs 2016, marked as a notable player at the Winter Academy Showcase, and invited to the U.S. Soccer Training Center in 2015. He helped his team win a national championship at U14, Away from soccer, Carlos is the member of the Da Vinci Honor Society and plans to study business in college. Carlos has chosen to attend and compete for Boston College. Next we have Emma Frati, the daughter of Mario and Stacy. She has been a member of the Miami Rowing Club since the summer before entering her freshman year. After competing as a rower for two years, she transitioned to the coxswain position on the women's team her junior year and then on to the men's team in her senior year. Achieving Miami Rowing Club's fastest recorded time at the head of the Charles Regatta in Boston, gold at states and United States Southeast Regionals, Emma is now training in the high school lightweight four plus where she plans to take the boat to nationals this summer to join the junior national team. Emma is very active in Gulliver, serving as the president of the World Languages Honor Society for Italian and the Italian Club. She has experience on student council and as a member of both the National Honor Society and the National Arts Honor Society. She is proudest of her activity as a long-standing member of the Sierra Club. Emma will continue her journey and follow in her brother's footsteps as a men's coxswain at Columbia University. Next we have Nicholas Garcia Murillo, son of Fernando and Lorena. He started Gulliver at ninth grade, already playing soccer as a member of both the United States national team and for one of the top academies, Weston FC. Nico has also played overseas in the world-class Atletico Madrid for two years. Playing for both national teams afforded him the experiences of traveling and competing on five continents. Despite the extensive travel and training, Nico maintained a focused and diligent concentration on his academics. His hard work and dedication paid off. Nicholas will be taking his talents to Harvard University. <laughs> Truman Gelnovach is the son of Walter and Valerie. He has played for the Gulliver soccer team for four years. He was a member of the 2015 state championship team and currently, currently hold, urged the record for most goals on the men's team. An outstanding student, Truman maintains a high GPA loaded with numerous honors and advanced placement courses and is a national Spanish award winner. He has been dedicated all four years to the International Business and Entrepreneurship Signature Academic Program. Outside the classroom, Truman has contributed many hours to both Gulliver soccer camps and the Goals Service Organization for Autistic Children. Truman has been recruited to play soccer at Princeton University. <laughs> 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 
Next we have Lauren Gold. She's the daughter of Danielle and Stephanie. She played volleyball at Gulliver for two years. However, her major successes came through her club play with both Tribe Volleyball and Boomers Volleyball Academy, winning two junior national championships. As a member of a high performance team representing the state of Florida, she helped her team win the international tournament championship. Off the court, Lauren enjoys writing and reading and studying business. Lauren will further her volleyball career at Babson College. Next we have Devin Golden, son of Tony and Kathy Golden. Devin is a senior captain for the football team and has progressed into one of the top offensive linemen in Dade County. This Gulliver lifer has been a solid starter for the Raiders the last two seasons. He has earned first team all Dade County and second team all state honors this season alone. His best memory was playing on a Gulliver team that beat Belen for the first time since 2000. He is no slouch in the classroom either, carrying a solid 4.3 GPA. Devin has chosen to pursue his football career and study business at the University of Miami. Next we have Traherne Trey Gribble. He's joined by his mother Jeannie and Kurt Winans. Trey has excelled in swimming in his four years at Gulliver Prep. He has qualified for the state finals in all four years. He has won state a state title as a member of the 2017 state champion boys swim team, as well as a member of the 200 meter free relay. He finished second place in the state finals this past year in both the 100 meter backstroke and the 100 meter fly, earning him first team all county honors in both events. On the national level, Trey has qualified for the junior nationals twice. Trey Gribble will pursue his swimming career at Ohio State University. Next we have Ryan Hellinger, son of Andrew and Tammy. Ryan has played tennis for Gulliver since the eighth grade. He is a four-star recruit whose serve has been clocked at 130 miles per hour. He was a member of the 2016 state championship tennis team. Off the tennis court, Ryan is a member of the National Honor Society and has volunteered for the Teach for America organization since the sixth grade. He plans to study neuroscience with a pre-med track. Ryan has committed to attend Johns Hopkins University. Our next signee, James Jackson, unfortunately could not attend today's signing event. He is busy competing in the district finals in the 100 meter and 200 meter races, the triple jump, and the 4x400 relay. We wish him luck today and next year as he has chosen to attend Duke University. Next we have Isabella Lamus, daughter of Diana Valbuena. Issa has competed in soccer and track while at Gulliver, and then she discovered volleyball. Thanks, Mom. She has been a starter for the volleyball team ever since her freshman year, earning national rankings each year. She was named best offensive hitter three years in a row. The Miami Herald selected her as first team all-county in both her junior and senior years. With numerous all-tournament team selections and tournament MVP honors, the American Volleyball Coaches Association named Issa a Phenom Elite High School student athlete four years in a row. On the club circuit, she has finished uh, as a national runner-up and claimed a national championship playing for Team Florida, earning national all-tournament honors. She's also a member of the National Honor Society of High School Scholars and the French Honor Society. Issa has been recruited to play volleyball at Columbia University. Now we have Kevin Maura, son of Mario and Jacqueline. He has been a varsity letterman in baseball for three years. Kevin is a talented, multifaceted player, sporting a career batting average over 325 and a solid glove at third base. 
His arm has made a huge impact for the Raiders, leading them to over a dozen wins on the mound. These talents have earned him two honorable mentions for all county teams as an underclassman. So far this year, Kevin has been named to the Rawlings Perfect Game Honorable Mention All-American Team and is ranked 51st at the third baseman position by Perfect Game Baseball for the country. Kevin has been recruited to continue his baseball career at Florida International University. Our next tennis player is Christian Otero, the son of Alberto and Tina. He has played tennis since he first entered Gulliver in the 10th grade. In his first year, he played a significant role in the team winning the 2016 Florida State Championship. In his youth competition days, he won the North Carolina State Close Championship in doubles. Christian excels in non-athletic areas, including business, debate, and engineering. He won an International Business Award in ninth grade while studying in Spain. He exhibited strong abilities while arguing for the debate club. And as a member of the engineering competition team, he reached the semifinals of Project Lead the Way. Christian will continue his tennis career at New York University. Next we have Alana Pinder. She's the daughter of Anthony and Vicky. Alana is a three-year starter and senior captain on our girls team. Alana scored a game, season, and career high 35 points in a victory over Westminster Christian during her senior year, which helped her surpass the 1,000 point mark for her career. Alana was selected for Miami Herald second team all county her sophomore and junior seasons, and was selected to the Miami Herald first team all county this past season. Alana was also a member of the Bahamian national team, leading them in scoring with 15.7 points per game. During her time at Gulliver Prep, Alana has also excelled in the classroom. She is a member of the National Society of High School Scholars and has a 3.9 GPA. Alana will continue her playing career and plans to major in athletic training and kinesiology at Eastern Florida State University. Next we have Lauren Potter, the daughter of Ron and Rebecca. Lauren started her varsity high school career two years before she could even start high school, playing the outside hitter position. During those years, she was named Gulliver's best offensive player three consecutive times. Lauren earned first team all county honors this year. On the national level, Lauren is a junior Olympic national champion and is a two time recipient of the AAU National All-American Award. Lauren is just as impressive in the classroom and in the community as she is on the volleyball court. She has been awarded the Principal's Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement and the Top 10 Scholars Award each year at Gulliver Prep. Lauren is on the International Baccalaureate Program, the National Honor Society, the Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society, and the French Honor Society. Lauren has been recruited to play volleyball and would like to study law and economics at Yale University. Our third tennis player, Nicholas Ramirez, the son of Andres and Claudia. He's played tennis since the sixth grade. Nicholas has won several United States Tennis Association tournaments and is currently ranked in the top 25 in the state of Florida. He and his teammates, Ryan and Christian, were key members of that state championship in 2016. He and his buddies are looking to return this year, right guys? Nicholas plans to continue his tennis career and study international economics at Brandeis University. Now we have Nicole Regera, daughter of Alberto and Betsy. Nicole has been swimming for the Raiders for four years and has been a member of four state championship teams. Not a bad record. She personally has qualified for the state finals seven times in her various events, which include the 200 meter free and 500 meter free. 
Out of the water, Nicole is a member of the National Honor Society, the Spanish Honor Society, and the Cum Laude Society. Nicole, through her rigorous coursework and exceptional test scores, has earned a Quest Bridge Scholarship. Nicole plans to study global studies and philosophy and will continue her swim career at the University of Chicago. Now we have Jesus Chuchu Shahagan, the son of Jesus and Susanna. He joins Nico in being a club soccer player for Western FC Academy, where he won a national championship. Before coming to Gulliver, he lived in Spain, where he played with Malaga's youth team and played on the U-17 national team. Jesus has chosen to study economics and continue his soccer career at Boston College. How are you holding up, Ross? Holding up all right? All right, where are you? Next we have Ross Shello, the son of Richard and Annette. Ross has participated in sports including football, cross country, and soccer at Gulliver for the last seven years. Ross has been a member of the varsity soccer team all four years in high school and a starter for the last three. He won the best goal of the season award in the 2016-17 season Outside Gulliver, Ross has played in numerous club tournaments and on the regional and national levels. In 2013, he was honored to be, uh, by being named to the Florida team at the Maccabi Games. Ross has chosen to pursue studies in business administration and a soccer career at Babson College. Congratulations to all our stellar student athletes and their families for their outstanding achievements. The Gulliver family wishes you the best in college as you bring pride and honor to us all. Go Raiders. Students, you are free to go to class. You're welcome. <laughs>